Amidst the awesome display of Shelby's at the Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals, it can be hard to spot a standout, but this amazing Royal Maroon 1969 Shelby GT500 deserves far more attention than the low-key color suggests. First off, until it recently entered the brothers' collection, this only belonged to a handful of owners, and it's wearing all of its original sheet metal all the way down to the floors. It was discovered in amazingly complete condition, with many typically discarded bits still intact, like the original emissions control equipment. However, although it was a nice find, the car was treated to a show quality restoration to bring it up to the far nicer than new condition that you see here. 69 GT500s are definitely worthy cars of the love too, and this one is rocking the original VIN stamped 428 Cobra Jet V8 that flips out over 335 horsepower and 440 foot-pounds of polyglass melting torque. It's hooked to the numbers matching four speed close ratio gearbox that exits to the nine inch traction lock rear, which is loaded with 355 to one gears. Power disc brakes bring this steed to a stop and power steering helps keep the driver swing the sport suspension through the curves. It's a driver's machine with white high backed buckets up front and a rear seat that folds flat because this ain't a car for backseat drivers. The color combination is really sharp and the dash is drizzled with the proper Shelby monikers on the horn and passenger side panel. A two gauge console pod sits at the head of the console and four speed shifter, but this car does not have slow me downs like air conditioning or power windows. But we do like the red footwell carpet which was shared with the 1969 Mach 1 Mustangs. The history is nearly as important as the car itself, and this one boasts its own personal library of cool documents and artifacts, ranging from the original Shelby special order card, the Shelby invoice, two build sheets, a Marty report, and even a copy of a handwritten listing of 1969 GT500 VINs and their shipping dates. And this one is one of the first 100 built, by the way. The unique look is thanks to a stack of Shelby-specific body panels, including the front bumper, grille, headlights, the elongated fenders, and the wild fiberglass five-scoop NACA duct hood. The rear features special quarter extensions and deck spoiler, a specific tail pan, and the cool T-Bird-style taillights over a center exhaust. Quarter panel scoops and stripes enhance the side profile. Cars like these are the main reason to go visit the Muscle Car and Corvette National Show, where there are always cool representative rides from the Brothers Collection on hand. And the fact that there's a whole building full of them at the McCacken Show should push any Muscle Car fan's needle deep into the red. Thanks for checking this one out, and we'll be back next time with something else cool from the Brothers Collection on Muscle Car of the Week.